Howdy folks, I'm the Roleplay Gamer, and this is Darkest Dungeon. A little bit of a role-playing, rogue-like-ish type of early access game. Don't you bleh, don't usually do the early access games, but this one seemed really compelling. And it's quite polished, considering that it's uh, just come into early access on the Steams. Plus this music, man. It's been messing with me all day. I'm like, where is this music from? It's totally the Unbreakable soundtrack. It's, it's totally that. If anyone is not aware, that's uh, there was a movie with Samuel L. Jackson and Bruce Willis. One of my favorite movies of all time. It's absolutely brutal. Brutal. I recommend you uh, you go watch that right away after you watch this video. All right, <laughs> let's get into it. So we're going to start a new game here, and you'll see why I'm going to name it this in a second. I'm just going to name my first name, right? Okay, so head, 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 enter. All right, we'll get into it. Here we go. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. No, I'm not going to show you any of this stuff. I'll explain why in a second. Loading, loading, loading. Cool beans. All right, I'll explain now. <laughs> so I'm not going to go too in depth into exactly what it is, or um, you know, I'm not not ex going to explain anything that isn't absolutely essential. This isn't a tutorial or anything. It's not like a first look or a first impressions type of thing. If you want that, you know, there's more than enough uh, YouTubers doing that, which is why I'm not going to bother. Uh, like I suggest Quill18, his videos are pretty cool. All right, I'm just going to quickly burn through this starting area. I know what I'm doing, so... I'll just explain as we go. All right, so down here is a mini-map. Uh, and you just... It's pretty simple. have run up these lanes. Keep to the side path. The hamlet is just ahead. As you can see, there's a bit of a narrator. It reminds me a little bit of... Uh, Bastion. The narrator from Bastion. Bastion that sort of, you know... Actually describes what you're doing on screen, which is pretty cool. I enjoy that. All righty. Here we go. So... Thug in brutal fashion. You go from room to room. Oh, shut up, narrator. You go from room to room, and you've usually got a choice. Uh, so, you you know, like a couple paths, or maybe you have to double back to, to explore more ship. You'll see that later. Uh, and, and the action happens in the rooms and on the way to the rooms. So, uh, all right. So, we, it's sort of like uh, XCOM in a way, but simpler. But you've got abilities here. So, we've got... Dimas, the Highwayman, that's how I'm going to pronounce it, I don't care if that's correct or not. It's a single target, so I'm just going to go open vein, which I think has a chance chance to cause bleed. Ah, oh, come on! So there's, there's some serious RGN work here, that's a random number generator for uh, those who are unaware. I'm just going to use the big attack, try and dispatch him real quick. So this is like the tutorial area, there's, uh, this isn't going to be, oh, come on, seriously? This shouldn't be a problem at all. We just got to burn through it to get to the real action. Force of Devils. Yes, yeah, so now he's made me switch. The real important part of, of the strategy here is um, the abilities you have, you, you get a little bit of a choice, uh, which you'll see later. But also, As the fiend falls, I didn't mean to do that, but it worked. <laughs> there you go, so you can see the narrator just sort of putting in some fluff there, which is kind of nice. Uh, so we've got an inventory and a map. But you'll see more of what that's all about in a second. Alright, so this is just basically an object on the way. There are various objects. You know, um, I've come across like a lab table with chemical sort of stuff. And, and there's various containers for treasure and some are trapped and this and that. It's all very random and fun. So what do we got here? They left valuables. Leave nothing nice. Just a little bit there of gold. Much to be found in forgotten places. Cool beans. All right. So a big part of the strategy is is uh, party composition. You have, and I'm, I'm what I mean by that. Actually, that's probably party positioning is what I meant to say. Is uh, where your specific characters are uh, lined up. So you can have up to four, and depending on the skills that you choose for them, their position. They have a preferred position in the lineup as well as a preferred attack distance. Once again, you'll see that once we get more party members. The rightful owner has returned, and their kind is no longer welcome. All right. 
So as you can see here, we've got our first double wide enemy. So they take up two spots. You know, you have you know four spots as far as I'm aware. That's all I've seen at the moment. So this this can be tricky. Uh, it sort of counts as three, but not really. Uh, I'm going to use Grape Shot Blast. Hehe, <laughs> grapes. So hit both of them at once. So grape. Actually, I should have probably should have shown you that. I'll show you next time. Uh, all right, zealous accusation. Now, if you look down here, it means uh, this skill can only be used from the first or second position in the party, and it can only be used on the first two spots. Now, this is a special skill that actually targets both those two enemy slots uh, at once. Now, that's not going to be much use here because both the two uh, front slots are taken up by this single enemy because he's a big bastard. So we're just going to use our heavy attack. Yeah, it's called Smite, but, uh... Oh, my God, really? <laughs> I was going to say, I consider that a heavy attack because it does the most damage. But clearly, the accuracy on it is not amazing. Let's try it again. There we go. That's what you like to see. Okay, uh, let's try Bleeding. Come on, baby. Yes. That's the one. That's what I wanted. This isn't a particularly exciting fight because we got probably two of the most mundane classes. They're all pretty interesting and unique, uh, but these are probably the most standard RPG classes, I'd say. Alright, uh, what's this one go? Let's try just shooting his face off. There we go, the bleed's doing some extra damage. That's unpleasant. Ah, now see, that skill swapped my, uh, my guys around, so it's not just the damage, but also the, I suppose, side effect or debuff, if you want, sort of, of actually switching them around. Um, hang on. I can actually check. 85. Let's, yeah, let's do this slightly higher accuracy one. Victory. Finish him off. Perhaps the turning point. <laughs> Victory. Perhaps a turning point. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Boom. The bigger the beast, the greater the glory. <laughs> so I'm going to switch my guys back. Uh, cool, so we got a decent amount of gold and a torch. Now, torch uh, relates to this bar up here, light. And as far as I understand it, uh, the, the amount of light affects the stress of your character. So at the top here, you got a health bar and then a stress bar. And when the stress reaches max, weird shit starts to happen. They develop uh, quirks, you know, weird traits. Hang on, what am I... Uh, oh yeah, because we finished. <laughs> cool, so they develop weird, weird traits. Uh, all, all the heroes have positive and negative traits, so they all kind of... They come become a little unique. So they might not look different, like two of the same class might not look different, but they play very differently because you might choose different skills for them. They'll have different quirks. Here we go. Creeping cough. So minus five to accuracy, minus five to dodge, and minus one to speed. Ooh. And hard skinned. That's a positive. Plus five percent to prot. 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 Un uh, pr protection. I don't know. I don't know. Not everything is explained, and it, I'm not sure if that's because it's early access. So tool tips and shit Welcome hasn't been uh, haven't been put in yet. This or. These corrupted lands, they are yours now. I love the narrator. Bound to them. Ah, shut up. I love the narrator, but it's really annoying for these playthroughs. Uh, yeah. All right, so we got quest goals here, which I haven't quite gotten to yet. So I imagine that's sort of related to bosses and whatnot, uh, which we'll see later on. So we've uh, leveled, uh, sort of leveled up. No, the level one. I'm not sure how the leveling, leveling thing works yet. I know they've gone from, like, Seeker to Apprentice. Like, the, the prefix of their class name there is sort of a leveling system, but we'll see. That's not at all what I wanted to do. There we go. All right, so here's our... Quiet. Here's our town area. So, it's... I would describe this as sort of a, a hero management game. Right, so all the heroes have, they're unique with the perks and the and the quirks and whatnot. And they've got their stress and health that you got to deal with. So when they're overstressed, these little white boxes here, you can send them to places like the tavern or the sanitarium. Whatnot. The sanitarium will actually 
uh, for a price will remove uh, negative traits, which is really cool. Uh, so you gotta de-stress them. You can send them to the brothel and shit, which is nice. So here we go. Here's the stage coach. And men, soldiers and outlaws. Yeah, yeah. Fools and corpses. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'll oh, keep the narrator to us uh, the road is clear. up or put him down. I might just, uh, I might just put him down. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how it goes in editing. All right. So the stage coach brings in new. Uh, heroes and of course we can rename everyone so I am going to hang on we right click there all right so preferred position that's what I was talking about before this guy prefers to be based on his skills prefers to be in the two middle spots and his most effective targeting the second position of the enemy lineup and see so it changes with every character and it will change depending on the skills you pick so we can rename them. I'm going to rename this guy. I don't know why. <laughs> I just feel like this guy. Uh, actually, no, it's probably going to be too long. So I'm just... Uh, yeah. Christopher Walken. This guy is totally a Christopher Walken. <laughs> wow. Hello to you. Christopher Walken here. <laughs> you know. Alright, so I'm taking suggestions in the comments. What what do you want me to call the other guys? Uh, I can't think of anything particularly creative at the moment. So, let me know. Graveyard. Most will end up here. Covered in the poisoned earth. Awaiting merciful oblivion. Ooh. Alright, so as you can see at the top here, this is why I named the, uh, the game my first name. Because it'll do the whatever you put in estate and I just kind of got a kick out of the fact that it says the Ricardo estate which is actually my name uh though you pronounce it estate it's, it's Italian anyway <laughs> the small things in your small minds all right so let's just embark here we haven't got a lot unlocked yet so every time you you know you start with uh, a crusader, which is sort of a paladin type of guy. The high woman, which is kind of a thiefy, sort of, I don't know. Um, the, whatever you call, the vestal, which is um, a cleric, maybe. And a plague doctor. Sort of poisony, maybe, I don't know, maybe we call him a... Oh, what's that thing? A witch doctor, maybe, I don't know, I don't know. So, well, let's, uh, let's line them up, let's double check their preferred positioning come on i gotta say so the inter i like the interface like it's it's functional but sometimes clicking on things is a little bit finicky ah okay so this is where we've got a problem well not a problem but these two have the have a similar preference in position i'm going to put goddard our plague doctor at the very end though so we're going for this one Tells us our, our rewards. We have to uh, complete 100% of room battles. So we've got to check out all the rooms. And kill all the things. The cost of preparedness measured now in gold. Okay, so we've got to bring Under. provisions. And these in do blood. not stick with us when we uh, leave the dungeon. So if we take too many, that's wasted money. We want to... I'm going to say five torches. Maybe six food. And a shovel. Two bandages. Just in case they start bleeding. I think I can actually cure bleeding with my plague doctor. But we'll see. And make no mistake. The, my first time playing this. I actually wiped. All my heroes died. In the very first dungeon. This is not an easy game. And I'm not sure if that's because it's not easy. Or because of the randomness of it. It just screws you over. So I mean that's part of the fun of it. Uh, just like playing XCOM on. I can't remember the difficulty levels. But you know on. Uh, was it classic? Oh, impossible I think it was. That's just nuts. You know that's gone for punishment. Alright so. You physically move the guys through. And here we go. Now that we've got more rooms. If you look down here bottom right we've got a choice here so let's check out this one first all right this guy's just gotten some stress for some reason so he doesn't tell you everything 
like I said before, so some things are going to happen and I'm going to be like, I don't know why that happened. So, <laughs> sorry. Salvage an unburnt torch. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, see traps and shit. So there are ways to scout if you find maps and whatnot. His efficacy unwitnessed by his own eyes. And I imagine there might be other ways. Hmm. What are we here? What's going on here? Oh, okay. Well, it's another torch, but let me just show you here. Curious. Obsessed with the acquisition of knowledge. So, this is going to mean that unless I'm really quick with another character, um, Mort, Mortmain, 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 whatever, uh, she's going to scurry in there and open chests and shit. Uh, off her own back, you know, of her, of her own accord, so to speak. Which can be obnoxious, because if she opens something and it's a trap, well, well, shit, you know? Alright, so that room was empty. Potentially a waste of time, so we've got to go back. Back through this hallway. i got to say, this is one thing that I find tedious. When you go, when you get to dead ends, and you have to explore everything. Um... I think my stress is rising because of the darkness. See, at the bottom, it's about 50% down. So let's the way is use lit. some torches. The path is clear. We require only let's the head up here. It. Okay, we've got a bit of an Iron Maiden here. Let's open her up. Oh, dude. All right. So, see. <laughs> this is kind of... Oh, shit. What's... Prone to stealing items, really? God fearing tower. We'll only pray for stress release. All right, that's annoying. Uh, uh, creepy, yep. And uh, severe fear of enclosed spaces. Now, I'm not... Spaces, rather. I'm not sure how that's going to affect us. But we've just developed that on uh, Reynold. 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 Let's call him Reynold. That's, that's easy to say. All right. This is why we brought the shovel. Is it? Used to clear obstacles, and I assume we can just Even the cold use a shovel. Awesome. Seems bent on preventing passage. Oh, but now we wasted the shovel. All right, so if we didn't have that shovel, we actually would have taken quite a while to dig through it, and thus have sacrificed life. I oh, sorry, not life, light. I'm all fumbles tonight. You'd think I'd be, I'd been drinking. <laughs> all right, so we're starting off with Chris Walken here. Well, I'm gonna. Use my grapes <laughs> against these little critters. Be gone, be <laughs> nice. Back. Took out two uh, two loads of them at once. As you can see, the the animation is quite quite charming. All right, what do we got here? See, this based on his positioning, and more importantly, the positioning of, in rather than this case, more importantly, the positioning of the maggots. I can't actually use these skills because this one, the back two. This one targets the front two, but you have to be in the front three to do it. He's starting to see what's going on here. So I can't actually attack. I can, however, buff someone. Um, well, let's buff Reynold. Reynold. I don't know. How do you say that? Now, Mortmain. Uh, do, 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 do. Wait a second. Let's just check for... 80%, 80%. She's the healer as well. Hang on. Whoa, what did I just do? Let's just use that. Oh, come on, really? <laughs> so obnoxious. All right, so we buff this guy. We can just take him out real. Not that we needed the buff, but that's all that could be done. So yeah, one or two things I'm seeing can happen here. You either, straight out of the gate, you only bring the classes that are going to complement each other in terms of positioning within the party, or you have, uh, you let them move around a bit. Like I know the, the jester, for example, has an attack that actually pulls them forward. And, and so does the crusader. Um, this particular one doesn't have it, but he has a skill that you can unlock or you can get a crusader that has that skill. So it looks like we're scouting. Now, I'll be honest here, I don't know why. I don't know why we just scouted. Uh, <laughs> but we did. So you can see down here, if we go up here, we will encounter a fight in that tunnel. 100% um, of room battles. Room battles. 
So, I guess we have to check out every room. We're about to fight. There we go. Oh, and there's a big guy. We got a big guy. Oh, shit. Bleeding. Oh, my God. All right. Oh, come on. Let's hit him with the grapes, baby. Wow. <laughs> Chris loves his grapes. Bandaging, right? We're bleeding. This is why we brought the bandages. Boom. That's how it's done. Now. We haven't got anything that will target multiples. Ranged. This this attack will actually give us light, which is pretty cool. Uh, they're, you know, the sort of holy kind of characters will will do that. Let's stun. Let's stun the big guy. Yes. All right. That feels good. Okay. What do we got here? Let's see if we can blight someone. Yeah, let's blight. Let's, oh, we can't. Ah, oh, okay. But it hits both of those back too, because they're linked there, see? So let's do that. Alright, one blights, one resists. Uh, zealous accusation is not going to be useful for us here. Let's just hit him with a big attack. Alright, round two. Let's start off with Chris. Let's bleed that mother. Oh yeah, that's what I like to see. Doing those dots. That's the way it's done. See, Chris is a crafty little bastard. He's taken barely any damage at all. Let's just get rid of this big guy. And we can start uh, willing down on the little ones. Okay, hang on. Let's see which does the most damage. That one. The Boom. The, beast, the greater the glory. <laughs> the bigger the beast. Love it. All right. What do we got? Uh, single shuffle. That I'm not, mm, not sure if that's going to. It might. No, that's not going to do anything for us. Again, see, because he's sort of. Um, we got the. For, for this one, he's in. Hang on. For this one, he's in the wrong position in the party. And for this one, the enemy is in the wrong position. So that's kind of obnoxious. Uh, let's just buff someone, damage-wise. Buff! Ooh, crit city! And more importantly there, the crits caused a whole lot, whole lot of stress. That's unpleasant. Uh, let's party heal. Let's do it while we can. How quickly the tide turns. Okay, come on. All right, this is only one damage. A force of de <laughs> actually more. Wow, force devilry. All right, so now that we can use zealous accusation uh, against these two guys, boom! That's what I like to see. That's the one. Let's try and bleed them, finish them off. Still nothing, so let's buff again. Did that double buff? I wasn't paying attention. Dodge, oh yes. Press this advantage. Done. Give them no quarter. That's the way to do it. Hang on, let's just double check what we got here. What to, yeah. That's, that X is really obnoxious to click. doesn't quite... Alright, cool. A decent amount of gold and a lot of busts. <laughs> it's a lot of busts going on here. This dungeon has quite a big bust. Alright. Lock display cabinet. Ah, trapped! But he resisted it. Cool beans. What's this? <laughs> See? There you go, because she's curious. She can't not touch. That's all right. And based on who you've got selected, they're the ones that will open uh, when you, when you actually open it yourself. So you can spread the damage if you if you got a couple of heroes on really low life. There we go. We need to come here for the room battle. All right. So we got some living couple of lim living enemies here. And a couple of dead ones. The dead ones aren't going to bleed, which is a shame. 
let's uh, hit him with the grapes again. Oh, come on, Chris! <laughs> thought you were craftier than that. Okay, alright. Uh, blight will affect undead things, so that's acceptable. Awesome, they're both blighted. That's the way it's done. A bit of zealous accusation all up in here. Good, good. Ooh, but his stress is going up. Um... Illumination, dazzling light. You know what? Let's. Who's got the lowest health? This guy. We get a little bit of light from that. That can't hurt. Cool. This isn't so bad. This is nowhere near the the absolute creaming I got the first time. Or cowardice. Single shuffle. All right, so. Let's try and send this melee guy. Oh, he resists. Come on. All right. So what I was trying to do was if I if that didn't resist, he would have shuffled back one, which I believe would mean he, he wouldn't be able to attack more than likely because he's a close range guy. That was my thinking anyway. Let's keep hitting him with those grapes. Oh, ho. All right, uh, do, 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 do. I'm gonna bandage him up because he was bleeding. Oh, come on, really? God damn you. Oh, that's dirty now. <laughs> there's, there's tentacles everywhere. I mean, I must, I must admit, I enjoy the whole tentacle uh, concept going on here. That's the way it's done. I enjoy tentacles. I can't even say it, tentacles. Uh, I find them creepy. I hate octopuses. So... <laughs> Before anyone gets on my back, octopuses is a perfectly cromulent way to say it. Because it's not a real Latin word, you don't have to say octopi. Uh, let's hit him with the grapes again. Oh, come on! <laughs> Mr. Walken, what are you doing to me? Alright, alright. Okay. This time... Oh! <laughs> This is bullshit. This is absolute bullshit. Let's, uh, let's hit him with the light again. What? This is, I, I don't think I've ever had such terrible luck. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's buff someone. Yeah, let's buff Reynold again. Bleeding, god damn it. I don't know what is chucking on me, but it doesn't sound good. Ooh. I'm more concerned about the stress that's going on here, not the loss of health. Ah, alright. Now we're cooking with gas. We just need to land one hit. Doesn't even matter what it is. Boom! That's the one. She healed a bit, really? This Hang on. Expedition at least promises oh, self-heal. I didn't even read that. That's cool. Really? Okay. There wasn't anything in these other rooms. So we're done with the quest. Cool. <laughs> That's kind of perfect. Because we're, we're coming up to uh, 30 minutes here. Awesome. Splendid. All right, let's just check what we got here. Obsessed with food. So I imagine that's going to mean he eats more when they get hungry. Uh, okay, plus 10 accuracy and plus 3% crit against unholy. That's awesome and very appropriate for his class. Ah, oh, more like a little bleed. And monster type human, so you know more damage and more stress resistance against humans. Nice. Faster healer, cool. Plus ten percent heal received. That's very handy. <laughs> Rabies. 
Jeez, what? God, on, what have you been doing, man? <laughs> Minus 10 accuracy and plus 20%. Oh, okay, really? Plus 20% damage. That, oh, okay. That's sort of a double-edged sword. I like it. I like it. So let's return to town. I'm not going to bore you with... Actually, no, I'll just show you next time. It's going to, uh, to be a long video, so I'll cut it off here. Make sure you check out my website where all my special musics is. Also follow me on Twitter, Patreon, and SoundCloud. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Roleplay Gamer, out.